so today I will be making a exercise instead of a, like a, just a, like a tutorial pattern on how to do things. The aim of this is to use everything that I've displayed already in a one single video just to show how you could use it to program something. So for this I'll be doing a vending machine. Now what goes what is a vending machine so a vending machine is a machine where you pay money and you select an item and you can buy it so that could be anything like a can of coke or some kind of a sandwich now this is what a vending machine usually looks like you have your um, space for your products so we would have your products we will have the uh, keypad for entering the numbers, so the number keypad. And we have, of course, where the product comes out from, so the dispenser. Now, thinking about how we can turn this into code, so there is, I guess, a few variables that we have. We have the customer approaching the machine, so that's unnecessary for the program, but a customer with money. Now, the customer then has to put in the money, so put money into the machine. Um, they usually take a set amount of money, so that would be something like um, 0 0.25s, uh, your 50s, your full 1.0, this could be a pound or a dollar, depending on where you live, your twos, etc. Right? So we'll have a system where we can put those in based on what we have and then of course uh, the selection of an item so we can select the item which will then subtract the money and then dispensing of the item which is just going to be of course a output message saying that we got our item with um, so dispensing of an item and any change retur returned so this is what we're going to start with and then yeah so that's the main plan for this video to start off with we will um, first work on the customer so what we so like i said a little bit earlier the first thing we want to do is we want to have money for our customer and we want to generate a amount of money that they have so we can then use that money to input it so what we're going to do for that is make a new class but instead of writing it here we're just going to go into project add a new class and let's just call this a customer now that we've generated the customer it's important to make it public so that this class is available in our program and what we want to have is we want to have two sets of variables. I'm just going to make it public for the sake of this video, but yeah. So it's going to be public and we'll have the money owned by the customer. So that's how much money they currently have. But we also want to know how much money they put into the machine. So money inserted. So what's going to happen is every time we will insert money, that's going to subtract for them the money that they currently have. And of course, if they want to insert more than they own, that's going to be an error. So to finish off, well, technically, now this is done. So what we have to do now is create a new customer. So we do that by doing customer, new customer is equal to new customer. And then if we want to generate a number for him, new customer, we could just do customer and then money owned and we could put any number in. Let me just say what type it was, double. So we could put something like 350, for instance. Um, but just to make it more interesting, I'm going to make it random instead. So if you go back into the um, customer, what we're going to do is a public type double. And we'll just get get random number. And we will pass in two va values. So we can make that a double minimum amount. So that's the lowest amount of money our customer could potentially have and double maximum. Because the reason why I'm doing it this way is because we will never know what kind of money the customer has and this is a good way to simulate what it potentially would be. So let's just make a um, 
a temporary variable and return that temporary variable. For now it's empty, so of course it doesn't do anything, but yeah. So in order to generate a random number, we use and, and this random. So we'll just make random is equal to new random. So it's just like any other class that we would make ourselves, a bit like here. So same with the customer. We just call for random and now we have access to random. So what we'll do is we'll make our temp number equal to and that's going to be our random. Oh, there we go. That's it. Next double. And what we'll just do here is we're going to put in the maximum minus minimum and we are going to plus minimum to the value. Now, the reason why we're doing it this way is because um, next double only takes in a zero and a one. So by having this formula here, we'll actually get a proper number like we want it to be. Now that we have this, I can just show how this would work. So we could just put temp number in console.writeline just to see what we generate. And in this section of the code, instead of making it equal to that, we will make our new customer money equal to get random number. And we are going to pass, I guess, 150 and 550. Yeah, that sounds like and the amount of money you would have to spend at a vending machine. So if we press F5 now to run the program, it generated 5.3. If we do it one more time, we get 2.4, which is great. Now, the issue with it now is that we're generating a lot of digits because it's a double. So, you know, there is more after. But money doesn't do that. So what it would really be is, in terms of money, it would be 241. So what I'll do now is I'll shorten it. So the easiest way to do it is to use c sharps math dot round and then now math dot round uses floats so we'll be converting it so let me just show you the error first so we the number that we put at the start is the number that we want to um, round and this number here is by how many decimal points which we want to because we have tens and then ones and then this actually takes in another parameter, which is the midpoint rounding, and that's what you want to round it to. So we will just do it to even. Now I'm a bit surprised because, oh, okay, I thought it would be an error and I would have to cast it. So I actually haven't shown casting before, so casting is basically putting a type in front. It could be there you go. And what it does is it just converts the current type into the type we cast it to. There we go. So I guess that's all right. And then we have, so we have the rounding, we have the return. So if we go here and just double check that everything works. So new customer dot money owned. So that's the money that they have. And that should give us a, come on, go here. Yeah, there we go, 179, which is a reasonable amount of money that could be generated.